Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 8.2, Problem Solving, Use Multiplication. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. The lesson objective for today is to solve problems using the strategy, draw a diagram. Please pause to write the objective in your notebook. Here we go, fifth graders, the first lesson of unit eight. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. Erica makes six submarine sandwiches and she cuts each sandwich into thirds. How many one third size sandwich pieces does she have? Okay, so let's begin by looking at our problem and underlining the information. We know that Erica has six submarine sandwiches and that she's going to cut them into thirds. We want to know how many one-third size pieces she's going to have. So let's begin filling in our information. What do I need to find? Well, I just underlined it in blue. We need to find how many one-third sized pieces she will have. Okay, our next question says what information are we going to use? Well, we need to know how large each piece we're, is going to be. So we're going to cut our sandwiches into how many pieces? Well, they told us thirds. So we need to know the size of each piece. Okay, and we need to know the number of blank she cuts. Okay, we know that she is cutting sandwiches. Okay, how are we going to use this information? Well, if you remember back to our objective, we are going to draw a diagram to organize the information and then we are going to use that information to find the number of one-third sized pieces. So you can see here we have a diagram already started for us. Erica has six submarine sandwiches. So we have six rectangles. And it says she cuts the six sandwiches into thirds. So that means that I have split each rectangle into three pieces. So one, two, in each piece. One, two, three in each piece. So if I do that to every single one of my sandwiches, then I need to know how many pieces I will have. I could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. I can also look at this by saying that I have the total number of thirds in each of the six rectangles. So I could multiply six times three, which you can see is the denominator. So if I multiply six times the denominator, I get the answer 18. Because I had six whole things and I split each thing into three. So we can draw a picture and count, or we can multiply six times the denominator. Great job so far, fifth graders. All right, ready for our lesson activity. Today's lesson activity says Holly cuts three pans of brownies into eighths. How many one eighth size pieces does she have? I'll start you off by drawing a model. We have three pans of brownies. So I am going to draw three rectangles to be my pan of brownies. Then it tells me that she splits them into eight pieces. So I'm going to split them into eight pieces each. Now I can go ahead and count and find out how many pieces I have. Or remember, we can multiply three times the denominator 
which is 8, because we're going to divide, but the opposite of dividing would be to multiply times the denominator. So how many pieces of brownies does she have? Solve this problem in your math notebook and be ready to show your teacher tomorrow. Great job, fifth graders.